All right, well, construction is now underway for the $126 million eyesore, the fence around Parliament House. What a debacle. Joining me now from the construction site, no less in Canberra, is our Sky News political reporter, Tom Connell. Tom, you can see that bloody eyesore behind you. Uh, before we talk, though, do me a favour. I just want you to run up that hill uh, and get as close to the fence as you can for me, and then we'll cross back to you. You'll be in shot. Just shoot up for me. Head up. Come on. Just pop up there. We're, we're, we're live, Tom Connell, here on Sky News. If you can just... You know, when mics are down. We need you to just Peter, shoot I'll straight up there if you totally can. It's not breath. far. You can tell from the camera <laughs> angle. It's right there behind you. Can I just get you to pop up to the fence for us quickly? I don't know what you're, what you're doing. Nah, can mate. you hear me if we've got an audio issue? Just, just <laughs> head up the hill. It's not Big far, much. you can tell. I don't think TV is deceptive on that one. Just run up, run up to the fence. We'll get... I'll take... I'll get. I, I, you see, I, I don't... I, have we got an audio issue with Tom Connell? Uh, we just need him to run up to the fence. Can someone... Have I got it? Have you, can you hear me, Peter? No, I've got you, Tom. Yeah, Tom, go, we've got you now. I was asking if you could just run up to the fence for us. All right. Just, it, it looks like it couldn't be more than about 20 metres away. Just pop up. Tom? <laughs> I, 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 Tom, have we got you? You're an idiot. It's about two. It's about 150 metres. It doesn't look like it. Look, I'm I looking at it here a on the screen. It, it, game of golf. Look, it might I'll, be 30 metres. I'll struggle but if, to reach up there, I reckon. Can you just pop up? I just want you to get up to the top of the fence there for us, Tom. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll run up. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe he's doing it. All right. Well, anyway, look. The point of this is just like Tom's doing now. Kids like to run up and down this hill, right? It's all part of the joy of Parliament for young kids. You know, you can see the design, the design principle of Parliament there. Gee, it's taken him a long time, isn't it? He might have been right about that distance. Anyway, the point is you can't go beyond that fence now. You used to be able to go above and over the fence. Now, do we still have Tom? Tom, tell us about this massive new fence there? being constructed behind you. I'm out of breath now. It's definitely more than 30 metres. Uh, the fence is about 2.6 metres. i tell you this, though. You said it's a massive eyesore. It's actually not too bad when you look at it front on. Are you a it least, uh, That is you know, unbelievable. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd call it an eyesore. The interesting part is, of course, we don't know a lot about the design because they're saying it's all a big security issue. I'm going to risk being more out of breath and start walking down there. Look at you, you're the doing the again, whole camera walk thing now. Look at you, like... toddling back down to us. All right, so it's actually a lot higher <laughs> than I expected because you've obviously got the temporary one there in front of it still. Yeah. Did you have security running towards you as this you were temporary... making a beeline for the fence? It's a good point. We had the cops go past us before and give us a slightly dicey look, but no one was there at the time, so it's probably a miracle I wasn't tasered or something. <laughs> With that little run. That would have been some good live but TV. But you can still roll down here, as you can see, quite a way. You would have enjoyed that. Uh, can, can, can you, can you roll down? Because uh, we were talking before, uh, and they were saying <laughs> that their kids like to roll down the hill. Nah. No? OK. I've got to draw the line somewhere, Peter. Come on. <laughs> um, I've already made an idiot of myself enough today. There's still quite a roll you can do, because they had a mass roll here at, at uh, Parliament House just soon after it was you announced. You a bit saying, out of breath, Tom. We've got to still be able to do this. Now, from what I can see, I told you all I do is play golf about once a month. <laughs> I've got no cardio, anyway. Um, so this thing goes all the way around, here? does it? To really be... It will go all the way around. The interesting part is, and when you say you talk about security, you can't actually drive up to this particular area here. Where we are, I'll get a cameraman to scroll down. We're a metre up off the ground, so you can't drive here all around the rest of Parliament, and if you look over this way, Alex, just over there, to the front part of it, well, there are bollards, well, you obviously. you say you can't so drive up, but look, there's a truck a parked right there attack. at the front. Look at that, right you there, bang. Well, that's Crime obviously they've spot. gotten there, because the bollards... Because the bollards have been put down so they can drive up. That's the whole point. Movable bollards, Peter. Right. Oh, so that's not, not a member of the public visiting the Parliament. OK, so, so this fence... Uh, once it is constructed, presumably all of this temporary fencing goes. Yeah, it will. The, the temporary fencing is just there during the construction. The final design of it uh, is a little bit mysterious because they say they don't want to give any hints away to any possible attacks. I guess if you're going to build this to stop attacks, that certainly makes sense. One thing I'll, I'll uh, 
put the state my reputation on the 126 million dollars i'm tipping it will be higher you don't usually come in Good lower point. than budget on these things and there seems to be a lot of work going on on this fence uh, a lot of manpower involved as well so there you go you always like a prediction peter i'm tipping it'll be more than one two six mil my director's telling me that there was uh, another issue of the fence that we didn't get to do you mind just popping back up there for us uh, it's just one last question uh, in relation to the fence no chance i'll tell you this though <laughs> it was voted for almost unanimously so only the greens and darren hinch actually opposed it now we're getting stories out there that those did vote for it are saying oh it's so ugly what was i thinking do we need this for the security well it all passed parliament with barely a whimper so one of those issues that if mps did feel strongly about it why not speak up earlier mm. obviously whenever you talk about terror there's always a, a chance that if you oppose it anyway they say well you know, what are you doing? You're putting people under threat. But this was always just the MP's house. So you think they, if they had any concerns, would have spoken up, voted perhaps against or at least spoken up about it a little bit more. It was brought in amidst the review. And this, this has been an issue for many years. People have often spoken about security here at Parliament House, but brought in as well in that climate after the attack on the Canadian Parliament. So that certainly mm. heightened the argument for people saying this place itself isn't all that secure. But there's been a lot of changes, even in the past few years since... I've been here, Peter. Previously, the ministry was pretty open. You could actually walk up there pretty easily. Now it's uh, all fenced off as well. So there have been quite a few changes over the past few years. Uh, we'll see if there's any MPs willing to speak out against the fence, if you like, on camera versus uh, some anonymous quotes in newspapers. Yeah, well, I mean, I have to say, I mean, I used to be able to get an unescorted pass in the parliament, but for some reason now I, only, I can only get an escorted one. Uh, which is more than a little frustrating. But, Tom Connell, I've got to ask you this. Uh, uh, it looks like there are more and more MPs sitting on the fence, uh, and even those that supported the building of the fence, they're getting a bit defensive about having done so. Have you noticed that? Haven't, haven't actually seen a lot of them uh, on air. I saw the end of your interview there with Mitch Firefield, who was uh, not exactly glowingly... Uh, praising the fence you might say but uh, i don't i don't think you'll hear a lot of speaking out against it look ultimately maybe this is a bit more of a bubble issue than we realize canberrans no. might feel strongly about it for most people their only experience here is an annual excursion perhaps uh so a fence that isn't particularly noticeable from the street i know you weren't happy with that point of view to put forward but uh, i'm not sure it'll be the water cooler issue I dare say the government uh, will once again say they'd rather talk about power prices. Tom Connell, we are out of time. Take us to the next story, if you can, by just running back up to that fence for us and, uh, and we will move on. We always appreciate your insights here on Newsday. Thanks very much. Oh, he's just walked off in the other direction. All right. There you go. All right. Well, on to some...